In this video I'm going to show you how to create this Windows 95 interface in Godot. Create a new scene, give it a control node, call it Windows Desktop, and start with a color rect for the background. We'll go full rect, give it a teal color, and I'll create this taskbar at the bottom first. So create a panel, go bottom wide, raise it up a bit, give it a gray color, and next I'll do the start button, so button, and we'll go start, and give it a, a texture style box, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it a resizable gray with white and black on the edges, and once we set the margin, um, it's basically resizable. Give it, I'll give it a black color here, and I'll give it this flag and focus none. Okay, and then for the hover, I'm going to do the same thing except with a texture, which is basically just the inverted version of the one for the regular one. Give it some margin, and so when you hover over it, it looks like that. And then I'll assign the same one for pressed, and change the size of this a little bit. And then the taskbar also has this white divider line here, so I'll go ahead and add that. So add a child panel, full rect, and make it um, empty in the center, and just give it a white border at the top, and lower this down a little bit. And so, okay, we've got the start button. Yep, got the start button, and I'll add the time next. So add a child here, give it a another panel. I'll call this time panel. Go layout on the right side and give it a, another texture and I'll pass it the same inverted texture that was used for the button hover. I'm going to be reusing that for the time panel here. Something like that, and give it a child label. Make it the full size centered, and we'll just give it a time like 12.30 PM, and make that black. OK, so this is what we have so far. And next, I'll work on the actual window itself. OK, so we'll create a child, give it a window dialog. And again, we're going to be giving it a resizable texture. So come over to Styles, give it a Stylebox texture. And I'm going to be giving it this window, which you can see over here. And this is just going to be stretched out to the size of the window. So it's about 4 on the edges and about 23 on the top, something like that. And Next, we have to move uh, move it so the top of the window is aligned with the close symbol. So, give it some um, expand it on the top a little bit, something like that should be good. And I'll make the title white. I'll call this welcome. And then I'll pass it in some textures for the close symbol. Close. And in the custom constants, I'll just adjust some offsets right here. This is about there, something like that. And uh, so when we start the scene, the pop-up starts closed by default. So I'm going to attach a script where I just basically pop open the pop-up. So now we should see the pop-up. So there's the window. We can move this around. The, uh, the close button, though, starts out selected. So I'll just show you how to make it so it doesn't start out in the hover state. So we'll go window dialog dot get close button dot focus mode equals focus none. And there we go. So it only f 
focuses when we hover over it. You can move the window and close it. Okay, cool. So this is nice. There's one last touch that I'd like to go over, which is adding these scan lines to, to the whole desktop. So that's just going to be in the form of a shader. So I'll call this color rect scan lines, make it the full screen size, give it a new shader, new shader, shader type canvas item. And it's going to be a fragment shader where it's going to be, the scan lines are going to depend on the size of the screen. So it's the screen height. So I'm going to export a uniform float screen height. So this would be whatever your base screen height is, um, base resolution for the height. So in this case, I'm doing 320 by 240. So it'd be 240. So I'll grab um, in the form of an int, I'm going to get the um, Y pixel on the screen, the Y index. And that's going to be based on the UV times the screen height. And this is basically going to be either an odd value or an even value. And that's going to depend on how much alpha we apply to the screen to create that kind of offset of the colors. So we'll do if um, int uh, or if y index mod by 2 is 0, then we'll add a little bit of alpha. Otherwise, we will leave it alone. And there we go. We've got some scan lines here. And just to make them stand out more, I'll go 0 0.1. And there you go. That's your Windows 95 looking interface. And I'll include this whole project in the description so you have access to all these textures and things like that.